For decades, people have said the moon is geologically dead. A silent, lifeless rock. But what if I told you? That might not be entirely true. The moon may not have erupting volcanoes or shifting continents, but it's far from completely inactive. We often describe a world as geologically dead when there's no visible activity, no tectonics, no active volcanoes, no liquid water shaping its surface. Earth, with its quakes, eruptions, and drifting continents, it's geologically alive. But the moon? It looks frozen in time, a dusty, impact-scarred relic. No weather, no oceans, no drifting plates. But that's only part of the story. Geological activity isn't just about lava and landslides. Sometimes it's subtle, and sometimes it's hiding right beneath the surface. If you're into uncovering strange and fascinating facts about other worlds, hit that like button and subscribe. I explore the geology of moons, planets, and beyond. From 1969 to 1977, seismometers left by the Apollo astronauts recorded thousands of quakes. That's right, moon quakes. And they came in four different types. Deep moon quakes, caused by tidal forces from Earth's gravity flexing the moon's interior. Shallow moon quakes, with the most powerful reaching up to a magnitude 5. Thermal moon quakes, from day-night temperature swings cracking the surface. And impact quakes, triggered by meteorites slamming into the moon. The shallow moon quakes are especially fascinating. They suggest that the moon's crust isn't static, it's still adjusting cracking or slipping under stress. And get this, some of those quakes lasted over 10 minutes. That's way longer than most earthquakes here on Earth. And here's another surprise. The moon is shrinking. As its molten core cools over time, it contracts. The outer crust, unable to flex smoothly, breaks creating thrust faults that push one section of crust over another. These fault scarps, which are basically small cliffs, are still visible today. And more importantly, they're young, geologically speaking. Some likely formed in the last 50 million years. And on the moon, that's recent. They're not just ancient scars. They still move, subtly. Some shallow moonquakes have even been traced back to these faults. So, yeah, the moon is literally wrinkling with age. It's not a dramatic kind of geology, but it's active. For decades, scientists believed that the moon's volcanic period ended over a billion years ago. Most of the Dark Maria, those vast lava plains, date back to three or four billion years old. But in 2021, researchers reanalyzed lunar samples and spotted something odd. Some volcanic rocks were only 120 million years old. Practically yesterday in planetary terms. These findings extend the moon's volcanic history by almost a billion years. And that's a big deal. It means parts of the moon retained internal heat far longer than we initially thought. Plus, there are surface features like dome-shaped mounds, which suggest the presence of viscous lava flows, possibly rich in silica, more like what we see in complex, evolved volcanism on Earth. Is there still magma lurking beneath the surface? Probably not in large amounts, but the moon's interior clearly stayed warmer longer, hinting that its geological story isn't finished yet. The moon teaches us a lot about how airless worlds evolve. Its slow cooling, shrinkage, and long-tailed volcanism challenge the idea that small rocky bodies become completely inert. In fact, other bodies, like Mercury, also show signs of scarp and contraction. 
Even some asteroids might experience seismic shaking from tidal stress or impacts. And on icy moons like Europa or Enceladus, internal heat drives entire oceans and cryovolcanism. So the moon, in many ways, is a template for understanding planetary bodies without atmospheres or plate tectonics. Its quiet quakes and ancient lava may seem subtle, but they tell a universal story of planetary evolution. As we return to the moon with NASA's Artemis missions, this isn't just trivia, it's mission critical knowledge. Shallow moonquakes could affect how we build structures, and instruments can monitor modern lunar activity in real time. Understanding how the moon releases heat can help us design better life support systems, power infrastructure, and seismic sensors. Plus, these discoveries spark new questions. Could we tap into that internal heat? What does this mean for a long-term lunar colonization? And are there similar processes happening on other dead worlds? The moon may be quiet, but it's not silent. So the next time someone says the moon is geologically dead, just remind them it still rumbles, cracks and shrinks, just on its own quiet timeline. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more space geology stories from volcanism on Venus to the icy chaos of Europa. And let me know in the comments, would you still live on the moon even if it still shakes?